All right, let's move on to pick number two with Jaden Daniels. Um, I think we both kind of feel the same way about this. I have been a little bit confused with the commander's approach. Um, while I do think getting draft capital in trading away, obviously Chase Young and Montez Sweat, and they're able to rebuild their way. I don't necessarily love the idea of trading away both your edges and keeping just the interior players and then taking a fifth year senior who didn't break out until he had two first round receivers and was in a way better situation than he was ever in before. Um, I am not a fan of Jaden Daniels at two. I think Drake may probably would have been a better option. I would. I know we'll probably never get it, but I would love to hear like the breakdown of why they went Daniels over May at two. That's just my feelings on it. Um, I don't love Daniels as a prospect. Like I think he was a great player, but in what translates to the NFL, I don't know if he has that. Yeah, and I'm always gonna love Jaden. You know, like I say, it's the LSU connection. I'll always have. Like I always have to love Jaden, but. But I'm going to disagree with you on the thing of I do think that he was the better pick for them at two. But again, it's only because that they cheated themselves out of the contingency plan with Sam Howell. But again, on that same, it's a tough situation no matter what for them because if you bring Sam Howell into the same room as Drake May, and you're basically going to be then, you know, you're 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 telling Sam Howell, you know, his time is up sooner than later for the same guy where initially they already in the same room. It's, it is a weird dichotomy. Like, it, it, the, the commanders were kind of put into an odd position with this pick. But as I've said, and I'll keep saying, you know, if you're having to be someone who gets thrown into the fire from day one, I have much more faith in uh, Jaden Daniels than I do in Drake May and, like, J.G. McCarthy. But then again, if you have that long-term approach for those guys, which now that they will have most likely, I don't I don't know what the Patriots are going to do with Drake. I, I think if they throw him in the fire right away, they're going to regret it a lot. We'll touch on that when we get to Drake May. But I think the point is for the for where they were sitting on the board and for the how that they had to handle it if they didn't go the trade down route, I do think Jaden was the best quarterback for them. I think my thing too though, I like I agree. I think they have a tackle situation that they kind of have to figure out fast. Um, and with that being said, I just don't know. I I don't know. Like I understand what you're saying, and I agree. If you're gonna look at it from like. If you want a quarterback that you can put on the field right now and get a get an NFL product, Jaden Daniels is probably going to be that guy. Drake May and JJ McCarthy, I think we both agree, need to sit a year. Jaden Daniels to me strikes me as a he'll show you what he has early, but in terms of growth, that's where I see the positives in May and McCarthy, where they make. I'm, I'm not believe me. Don't get me wrong. Like we're we we stand differently on this. I'm not advocating for McCarthy at two. I'm not advocating for the Commanders take McCarthy. I'm just saying in terms of growth, I think you can look for it more in a May or a McCarthy because they are so young compared to a Jane Daniels who is 24 and transferred out of Arizona. Obviously. That was the past, like whatever happened there. And he started succeeding at his final year at LSU. And I guess you can make the same argument with Joe Burrow. Like he didn't really pop off until his last year. But they won the games in different ways, you know? Like Jaden won a lot with his legs. He did pass the ball well, but not, I don't know. Like throwing over the middle isn't his strength. And, you know, when he gets out, he's... He can create, but he's also scrambling. He's taking big hits. I am just not a huge fan of Jaden Daniels. I think he can be successful with Cl Cliff Kingsbury. He has a weapon in Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, Austin Eckler. Like, they have guys. It's just, I don't know. The commanders have been weird since they've gotten this new regime. Yeah, no, they certainly have. I'll say one thing is, it's, it's just, it makes me happy. Because I do remember a throw he made his freshman year back at Arizona State. This was like three or four years ago. I remember watching it. And I was like, and it was like at a hotel somewhere I was staying. I think it was like when me and my dad were out of town for like a Saints game or something. And I remember watching like, and I was, it, it, there was a few throws he made where I was like, this this dude has a future for sure. And now to see him going number two overall, it is pretty wild that, that like that transition from, hey, this kid can play to like, damn, seeing him go number two overall is not as high as I expected. It is really crazy how life works sometimes. 